What's up guys, Aiden here, Aiden's Lone Landscape, and welcome back to another video. Today in this video, we got a spring cleanup. We gotta blow out all these beds here, which you saw last week. Cut back these grasses here. Clean up all this debris in the yard here. And then up there, we got some little minor pruning and stuff to do. And along the side, some minor pruning. Hope you guys enjoy. All right guys, the lawn is really waking up here and I just want to show everyone that I have a th soil thermometer in there and the temperature 
is just right up into the mid 50s. So this weekend, I'm gonna go ahead and take care of the crab gas fertilizer. So stay tuned next week for a video on that. In the meantime, take a real quick look. Look at that green all coming up in there. Looking nice and good. All right, guys, I just wanted to come out here before school. I just want to show you that beautiful sunrise back there. But I wanted to give you my quick 10 cents on mulching. So when you mulch, you want to make sure you get that hard edge going around and you want to remove the mulch like we have here on several trees. But um, my topic, personally, it's a little early. It's the first day before spring for mulching. But um, I would wait till like June where you could wait for flowers to fall so that you don't put that on top of the fresh mulch but I want to give you guys a quick tip for when mulching you definitely want to edge but I want to make sure I want to see how the landscapers here at my helm do the um, the mulch today they're actually hold on one sec guys let me walk you up there actually all the way up there on my street so I want to see how they do it today and then I'll go ahead and show you my topic for when you guys mulch Alright guys, so I just wanted to quickly mention that this was the HOA that did these trees. They they don't do up against the house here. Like, I gotta take care of all of that. But here are the trees that they did do. And they look nice. They did them all around there. I'll show them to you in just a second. But here's my quick tip for when mulching. Okay? Here's, here's the problem that goes on with a lot of mulch. Is they crowd the mulch up against the crown too much see even here there's a little bit too much okay you need to unbury your crown so that your tree can breathe and that way it doesn't end up with um with mold going up and down the tree see i fixed this tree a while ago so there's not really that much of a problem with it but i mean some of them get really bad but here's what it looks like when you go ahead and fix it. So it's nice, nice and clean. Now I'll take you over here, give you another quick example. Here's this tree. And you just wanna kinda uncrowd it so you can see that base of that tree. Hold on one sec, guys. Just go ahead and, you know, fill back in the areas, kind of smooth it out and run it down the tree. Here's another one that they did a really good job with. Nice and clean. So that's how you go ahead and take care of that problem and fix that problem. With that, I'm Aiden from Aislon and Landscaping. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys on the next one.